Well, hello, my friends. I just received this in the mail. It's my new, to me, it's new. It's a Lanshan Pro Full Season. And I weighed it on my scale, and it comes to 2 pounds, 2.78 pounds, which is just a little bit less than 2.5 pounds. Now, that's what it weighs the way, it, the way I took it out the, out the mailbox. I now think I can one. keep it in frame. If not, I'll reposition. Now these uh, hectagon, uh, they didn't they didn't do you no favors by sending these little groundhogs. To start with, if you have to reposition your your tent stakes, this one here, when you you can't get it down without hurting the palm of your hand, and, and you have to get a little rock or something to beat it in. But I found these that has this 90 degree works much better for repositioning the tent stakes because I've yet to pitch one of these and not have it perfect. You have to tweak the tent stakes. All right, we got the full uh, steps, uh, tent stakes in. Now there's two mistakes I see people make. They ask me for this, how I pitch the tent, but it's not nothing. I've not done it perfect. Not one time I've had to reposition those tent stakes. But the two mistakes I see is one, they try to pitch it without the vestibule and the, and the um, mesh zipped up. They have to be zipped up to pitch it correctly. Uh, that's the two mistakes I see them make. The other is they're reluctant to reposition those tent stakes because that hurts your hand to pull them up and put them back down unless you got a rock. But anyway, now, we, now we're gonna go with the tracking poles. Okay. And don't untie that knot. <laughs> now the tweaking starts. Now, I did mention two cons. One could be a deal breaker. The first one is the cell nylon tents will retain water. So this less than two and a half pound tent, if it rains and you have to pack up in the rain, it's, it's like picking up a beach towel that's soaking wet. And you people that's washed clothes and picked up towels to reposition them because you you spin a, the washing machine spinner cut off, you know how heavy wet towels can be. Well, that two and a half pound tent will become a six pound tent. <laughs> now, I I carry this, well, I bought a, a large micro towel, towel from, from REI, but actually I replaced the inside of that little package with a, with a sham wow chamois. And I keep that in my tent, if there's any condensation, I can wipe it out. But also, if when you get up in the morning, hopefully the rain has stopped and you can wipe down your tent with the chamois and reduce some of that weight. But that that is a down. And if you do, I'm only out, I'm only out on a trail a few times, four days at the most, and that's just a couple of times a year. So it's not a deal breaker. But if I was a through hiker on one of the long trails, I guess I'd end up with a with a Dyneema tent, simply because it doesn't retain water. So it's not a deal breaker for me. If I was a long haul hiker, 
it would be a deal breaker, but I'm putting up with it for now. Now, the other deal that I didn't like was the pockets in these Lanshan tents. They, they sit and they lay on the floor. I don't understand. I've never used them. I've, I've, in fact, I'm tempted to cut them out or put some Velcro and reposition them somewhere, but I've never used them, and I'm reluctant to cut them out because if I ever wanted to sell the tent, you know, you'd cut the park. Somebody else might actually use them. I've never used it. Now, I hadn't looked inside this tent yet. This is my first pitch. That's why it was a little extra time getting these guidelines and stuff worked out. But, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go inside now and let's take a look and see if they fixed those pockets or did something with them. Now, all right. So now the first stories. thing I noticed was there's no mesh. They've filled this in with um, sill nylon. There's a little bit up here. There's a vent up there on both sides. So I'm wondering if, if they uh, removed the mesh on the ends. I'm not sure. So let's let's take a look inside, look at those pockets, and see if, if there's any mesh uh, at, at the bottom of the tent. <laughs> Guess what? There's no pocket on this end. No pocket. It's, I don't know if that was oversight or what, but it is a little mesh, so you do have vent. You have some vent so that uh, some, uh, you can get some air in here, keep the condensation down. But on this end, they did put one, and it's... <laughs> it's a lot shorter. It's not. It's not laying on the floor at least. But isn't that weird? Just, just one pocket down there, and nothing on this end. And of course, that's the mesh up there. <laughs> all right. One pocket. Uh, that's okay. I, 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 I might use that one because it's a lot shorter. It's not so long and laying on the floor. But um. I, that's going to conclude setting up the Lan Shan Pro two-person tent. That was my first setup. And um, so if after editing, if this is not too long, I'm going to continue on, on how to seam seal it the way I seam seal it. The way I do it is I use this here. This I've, I've used this on my um, three season in my regular tents and I don't have an issue. The only thing is you just at the seams at the seams you just need to hold it close enough that it liquefies and can soak into the seams. But I'm gonna reposition everything and show you it don't take but it don't take 10 minutes to do it and you're done. So um, now I'll put a link in the description to Amazon. But I don't recommend you buy it from Amazon. They have two. See, this one says 50% more usable product. And Walmart sells this big can for $6.48. And it's in the sporting goods section. And usually it's up high. So I went in and picked up a couple of cans the other day. Because I used up the other can. <laughs> now, I'm going to put, like I said, I'll put a link in to my Amazon associate link. They sell two cans, not this not this um, improved 50% more, and it's like $23. So don't recommend you order it from Amazon, but in case you don't remember the name, I'm going to put it in there for you so you can go do your research. Now, I'm going to repos reposition these cameras and show you uh, how I seam seal this tent. <music> minutes but uh, I'm actually gonna 
I'm gonna go over it again without the camera on it and uh, just to make sure it soaks in. But of course you can do the inside if you feel, but I didn't do the inside and it seems to work okay. So anyway, that's the way I seam seal them until it leaks. That's the way it's gonna be done by me. Now, thanks for watching.